all right so every now and again when you have a brand new distribution box in our area most counties are starting to make it to where when you install a new box you have to have a manhole riser at grade the manhole riser is this large 24 inch ring and as you can see it bolts directly to the box this makes a nice waterproof seal and it also makes it to where you're less susceptible to corrosion over time now that does not stop this box from getting crushed so you need to be very conscious of what you're driving over top of it most of these lids can handle several hundred pounds of weight but if you put like a car or a small uh, lawnmower directly on the lid you do run the risk of that thing cracking uh, the benefit of this style of box is you can have the uh, sewer pipes come in and then you can auto level them with those speed levelers right there. So you don't necessarily have to worry too much about the surrounding soil. The way that this works, you're going to have the water from the tank come in through here. It will then go into the tank or into the pit and then you'll have the water go into the drain lines, which you can see right here. These speed levelers are basically a hockey puck with a hole in it that you rotate around to get a nice even distribution of water in the system. A distribution box is literally just there to slow the water down and make it to where everything evenly disperses into the trenches. There's another style of absorption system called drain fields and serial distribution. That's where you will have the one leg from the tank go directly into one trench, which will then go its full, you know, 50 to 100 feet in length. You'll have a bend that'll go down 10 foot and then it'll snake back on itself with the next 100 foot. The reason that most of the counties around here don't use serial distribution, they'll use a distribution box like this, is so that way in the event that something happens to the first leg over here, let's just say somebody crushed it or something like a fence uh, auger went through it and you broke it, well, okay, that one trench is broken, but you can still use this one. Whereas if you have a serial distribution and you have an issue with a collapse clog or some other impediment in the first portion of that leg, you're not gonna be able to use the second portion then you're looking at a far larger repair. Where this, you might just have to fix the one piece. So distribution boxes will come in a variety of shapes, sizes, colors, etc. This particular one's a large black ring. Uh, you should be made by Polylock. This allows it to where you can get a nice watertight unit. Sometimes they'll come in concrete. The concrete ones will be uh, just as efficient. It's just they are a little bit more prone to eventual corrosion and deterioration of the box itself. With these plastic boxes, I've seen that they last uh, far longer than a concrete box, but you have to make sure that this is accessible at grade, so that way somebody doesn't start parking or driving over top of it and causing damage. The concrete ones can take a lot more abuse, but they generally only seem to last about 20 to 30 years in our area. The sewer gas is very corrosive and it will start to slowly deteriorate the concrete in the box, which causes it to fail and collapse under its own weight. So when you're deciding on what distribution box you wanna have put in at your house when it's time to replace it, my recommendation would be one of these larger plastic ones as you can easily maintain it. And as a homeowner, you have the ability to see what's going on inside of your system whenever you want.